And this is another installment of uh, my endeavor to get my car running. And as you can hear, it's getting closer. Uh, first, I'll show you here in the back that's a Jeff Q opened and it's currently controlling everything here. First thing is on the left we have uh, an extension board which is a 16 channel relay board and on top of it is an Arduino DUI and on top of this is a experimental shield which I equipped with two CAN transceivers and these transceivers first the first one communicates with the Jeff Q so we can get the commands and the other one will be used for the heater, Eberspecher heater. Here we have the NLG5, the Bruiser Charger, and it's currently not running in automatic mode, it's being controlled by Jeff Q via CAN. And here would be the place for the DMC5, that's the motor controller. Here are the secured um, HV cables and here is the DC to DC converter and this one too is running controlled via, via CAN messages from the JFQ and uh, the 12 volt battery would output around 12.8 or 12.9 volts but as the DC to DC converter is running it's giving us 13.55 volts if I plug in you will hear the, the relays clicking here in the in the extension board and uh, first the pre uh, no first you will hear the pre-charge relay and then the secondary contactor which is in the back of the car sitting with the batteries and then after the pre-charge cycle of three seconds um, I said it would be high to be on the safe side uh, then the main contactor will close which is here under this white board and then the pre-charge relay will release the DC to DC converter relay will activate the enable pin uh, which is one of the green lines here and also another relay will uh, enable the charger and as soon as this is done Jeff Q sends the commands to operate the system or to the devices. Of course Jeff Q also tells the extension to close the, the relays or that it has to activate the charger or the DC to DC converter. So here we go, one, two, three. Pre-charge. And here we go. Everything is running. Here, what you can see here is uh, two six amperes amper diodes uh, connected to the middle. So from the left side, I think I get yeah. Here you see the the red uh, the, the the yellow cable. That's 12 volts from the Brusa charger going into the diodes here, and from the right side, I have uh, the yellow cable which is ignition from the car and in the middle I pick up the both diodes only lead, let current through to the middle and there I take out this orange cable uh, which provides me either 12 volts either from the ignition or from the Brusa charger so both ignition and the Brusa charger are able to power the Jeff Q, the relay board pull the relays and the contactors. Uh, Jeff Q is also hooked up to the car's CAN bus uh, through a line which goes through the original cable tree in here. Here you can see the green, black and the blue black lines I'll try to zoom in are carrying CAN low and CAN high in this Volvo for the high-speed CAN bus. So I hooked up these lines and I'm able to query the ECU 
<laughs> which is still dangling here in the, in the little part of the car. I have to move that up and install it correct. And, uh, but it, it's possible to query the, the can at the throttle position by a can. So Jeff Q can calculate the, can, the, the throttle position and command the right power from the controller. To mention is that even while Jeff Q is running here in is logging in debug mode, which is really taxing because actually this is what consumes the most cycles. Um, here on the right you can see in the CAN monitor the cycle time is mostly uphold sometimes it goes from 20 to 24 milliseconds or instead of using uh, 100 milliseconds it's 104 or 101 but with all these three dis devices disabled and locking in full debug mode the Jeff Q is still holding up I must admit I disabled uh, the Wi-Fi device for now but uh, there is enough power in this device, in this little device to control at least three external devices.